this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to get started with some of the files in the gingerbread graphics pack from Lumabox. This isn't going to be a complete build it from scratch tutorial. Um, I will be starting with this generated facade um, that I made using Lumamap, but there are assets in the pack, um, you know, like a biscuit texture and all of these icing elements so that um, if you want to build yours from scratch, you absolutely can. And they are just um, PNG image assets with transparency. So you really can just drag them in here and assemble them the way you want. And it's pretty straightforward. But today I'm going to be focusing on mainly the video assets and using them to kind of introduce some more interesting um, animated elements uh, into this scene. So I'm going to start here with the candy cane and if I take a look at that you can see first of all there is a black background so that is something we are going to want to get rid of and I will show you how to do that but first of all I am going to increase the duration so it's currently uh, 1800 frames long but just so that we never uh, run out of duration on this I'm just going to right click and choose interpret, interpret footage main and here I want to loop it a hundred times I mean that's excessive but um, you know set this to whatever you want but just enough so that it's going to um, cover the time of the animation you want to build so okay and then a little trick here if I right click again and go to interpret footage and say remember interpretation if I then here in my search box go to told type in mp4 here all of my video assets, everything that is a video, which happened to be in the format MP4. If I right click, go to interpret footage and apply interpretation. Now everything that was a video asset in this pack will have a very, very long duration. And I now just won't need to worry about that for any of them. So that's a neat little trick. So I will just expand these out again. Okay, so if I wanted to say, get this candy cane and put it in front of my gingerbread house. If I did that now, currently, ugh, black background, not what I want. So what am I gonna do about it? I'll just delete that. I'm going to grab the candy cane file and drag it on top of this little icon here, which automatically gives it a comp of its own, which is called candy cane. And it puts the candy cane file inside this separate comp. And the way I'm going to take away this black background is by using the candy cane alpha file and alpha just means transparency. So if I drag that into here above candy cane, you can see it comprises of white and black pixels. And I'm going to use that information to tell candy cane to be opaque in all the areas that are white and transparent in all the areas that are black. And I do that by using candy cane alpha as a track mat for candy cane. So if you don't see this track map column, you might need to click this button here. And in this column, I'm going to set candy canes track mat to candy cane alpha. And we still have our um, black background. If I um, turn on uh, transparency grid, we can still see that I'm only seeing black pixels. Why is that? Because we want to turn the track mat from alpha mat selected to luma mat. So it's using the luminance in candy cane alpha. So how bright the pixels are, black being the darkest and white being the brightest. It's using that to drive the transparency of this, of this layer. So now we've managed to get rid, rid of that black background. We can just go back to the gingerbread facade grab my candy cane comp that I just made with transparency. And here it is. I am going to grab this um, corner handle here and I'm going to hold down shift so that I'm scaling. Whoop, click. So click, start dragging, then hold down shift and that will maintain the proportions as I scale. Just going to make it a little bit more of an appropriate size. And I think I will place this fella here. Maybe I would want to rotate it so I could select the rotation tool and just maybe give it a little bit of a jaunty angle. I like that. 
I would like to give it a drop shadow so that it looks like it's kind of sat in front of the house. And I can do that by selecting the candy cane layer, right clicking, going to layer styles, drop shadow. And it lives here under layer styles, drop shadow. I can swivel it open to have a look at these parameters. I definitely want to increase the distance so that it just makes it look like it's sitting a distance in front of whoops, of the house. And maybe I would increase the size just to make it a little bit softer. And I'd also like to change the color because it's looking a bit black, whereas all of these shadows have a kind of orange biscuity hue that's uh, informed by all the things um, around it, uh, the sort of the light bouncing around. So we can actually sample some of these colors, for example, this shadow, and then maybe increase the opacity. And I'm just trying to match it to this shadow here, for example, just to make it look like it's sort of in the same color world as the things, the objects already in my facade. So that looks pretty nice. Great, so there's a candy cane. What else should we pick in here? That will be fun. Um, a candy lollipop. Let's have a look. Yeah, that will be nice, that will be fun. So the same process again, grab candy lollipop, drag it into its own comp, then find the alpha file for it here, candy lollipop alpha, drag it in and on top, set the track mat on candy lollipop to candy lollipop alpha, but rather than alpha, we want luma. And there we go, we've got rid of our black background, so if we then go back to our gingerbread house and find candy lollipop comp, bring it in, there it is. Just scale that down. Again, I'm holding shift to keep those proportions locked. I think this guy will go here. Give it a bit of an angle. And I can also copy the drop shadow that I like on candy cane. Here's the drop shadow. I can just use Control C to copy and then Control V, paste it onto the candy lollipop. Fun. All right, what else would I like to use? What about this candy swirl? Yes. Again, new comp. Find candy swirl alpha. In it goes. Track mat candy swirl alpha. Luma. There we go. Here it comes. Scale it down. And maybe I'll put it over these ones, give them a bit of a glow up because they're not looking too good. That looks nice. And I still have my drop shadow copied, I imagine. So Control V. That's a start, but these swirls would be sat right on top of the um, gingerbread. So I want to bring in the distance of that drop shadow so that it's closer, more like a contact shadow. But actually I've noticed something, look, the shadow already in this scene indicates that there's a light source coming from somewhere over here in the top right. So I actually want to match to that if I want to be a little bit more accurate. So I can change the angle of the source light and I'll just move that so that it's similar to the existing things in the scene. So actually I will now copy this and paste that onto these two so that it will replace the drop shadow on those and actually I will increase the distance again out it goes that's nice Drop shadow copy that onto the candy cane which is also sitting proud yes nice and I think 
this looks nice and I want three more to cover these ones so I can select it, go to edit, duplicate and that's made a copy that I can click and drag into a new position and in fact there's a quick shortcut for duplicate, it's listed here, control D so I can have it selected, use control D, there's another one, control D and there's another one. Great. So hopefully you have a good sense of how to use the video assets in this. And there are so many cute little assets that you can bring in and decorate with. Um, you know, there's a wreath, that's pretty cute. In fact, I'll bring that in. Just scale that down. Put it on the door over here. Give it the same drop shadow as our candy swirls. Copy, paste, nice. Um, what else might we want to use? There really is so many in here. You can add more icing. Um, there's lots of like icing swirls and decorations. Um, what if I added some sprinkles? I think these are quite cool. So in it comes. And let's say I wanted sprinkles to be just on the white icing of these sections. I could do that by masking just these areas. And I can do that using the pen tool up here. Select the pen tool and then I'm just clicking and dragging with these bezier handles around the shape of the dripping royal icing. I can do it here. A bit sloppy, but it's okay. That looks nice. And there are so many other files here that you can explore. Some of you may have also purchased the Gingerbread Man. Start from scratch with him. This little guy here. So he also has an alpha file. So we take a similar approach, give him his own comp, and then bring in the alpha file, track map to Gingerbread Man Alpha, set it to Luma, and he can come in as well. Scale him down. He can be in front of the door. I want to give him a similar drop shadow to, say, the lollipop, so I will copy that and paste it onto Mr. Gingerbread Man. I feel like his gingerbread color isn't really um, marrying up very well to the kind of the color of the base, um, sort of the facade. So I could do something about that by adding a hue and saturation effect. So I have the gingerbread man layer selected. If I double click this, it will take on the hue and saturation effect over here on the left. And what I want to try and do is this master hue, click and drag on this number section here, and I just want to make him a little bit... So this um, sliding this changes the hue wildly. I only want to make a small adjustment just to make him a little bit less red and a little bit more orange. Might need to come back to that. The saturation definitely needs to come up, I think. And no, not the lightness. That was a mistake. Back to zero. So saturation is up. I think it's more like that. Maybe take down the saturation a touch. 
maybe lighten this just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so I could do more on that, I think, but um, it's had a small difference. If I turn the visibility off, you can see he was kind of darker, redder before, and now he's just a little bit more in the color world of the scene. So I think I'll leave it there for now because I've showed you um, a lot of the principles that you can take forward for um, all of these files. If you liked this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss what's coming next.